What is up guys, Project Make here, back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. We gained so many subscribers after the last four videos I uploaded. I'm going to ask you guys again, please subscribe. 99% of you are actually not subscribed who watch my videos, so please do me a favor, subscribe. It helps me out so much. I'm a starting YouTuber. I put these videos out for you guys, and I appreciate it so much if you guys can help me out just a little bit and subscribe. Without further ado, this video is going to be the ultimate guide to Stardew Valley fishing. I'm going to be telling you guys where every single fish is, how you get it, where you get it, what season, everything you need to know. This is your one-stop shop for all of the fish in Stardew Valley. The background video is going to be me fishing throughout all the places you can fish in Stardew Valley. I'm going to try to time it up so that the fish that I'm talking about are the same ones where you get them. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first fish. But yeah, before we get into this video, um, the, um, the gameplay I have is showing you guys the best places to fish in each of the areas. So make sure you're fishing where I'm fishing, especially on the island. It is definitely the best places to fish to catch everything you need and to have the highest chance of catching the best fish. So make sure you're fishing where I fish. Take note of where I'm fishing for this stuff. So we're going to go through seasons in this. So the first season is obviously spring and then we'll get into the extra fish or like the late game fish that you can catch that don't necessarily fit into a season. So the first spring fish is going to be the anchovy. Anchovy can be found in the ocean at any time, any weather, doesn't matter. Just go fish in the ocean, you will find the anchovy. The next fish is going to be the sardine. Now the sardine can also be found in spring in the ocean, any time any weather so go get that the next one we're going to be talking about is the smallmouth bass now this one can be found in the river so basically any river in the town during spring anytime any weather so go catch that one next we're going to talk about is going to be the catfish the catfish can be found in spring it can be found between 6 a.m and 12 a.m only so this one does have a time restraint and it can be found on the river. So go to the river between 6 and 12 a.m. It's a nighttime fish in the spring. Catch it. Oh, and it has to be raining. If it's not raining, you're not going to be able to catch the catfish. So the sunfish is our next one. It can be caught between 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it's caught in the river. So make sure you go catch that in the spring. The next one we're going to be talking about is the herring. Now the herring can be caught at any time in the spring. It's located in the ocean. And yeah, go catch that one. Next one we're talking about is the eel. Now the eel can be caught in the ocean during spring, only when it's raining, between 4 p.m. and 2 a.m. So it is another night fish, so go catch that. Remember, it has to be raining in the spring and in the ocean. Our next one is going to be the flounder. Now the flounder can only be caught in spring um, anytime between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So catch that. It can be caught in ocean, the ginger island oceans. Our next fish is going to be the shad. Now the shad can also be caught in spring. It can be caught in the river from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. So make sure you go catch that. It is another fish that has a timer sprain and it also has to be caught in the rain. So spring, shad, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. in the rain. Our next one is going to be the halibut. This is a really nice looking fish. It's a uh, nice and black. I like it for my fish tank. So it can be caught in the spring from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the ocean. So catch that in the ocean any weather. All right, so our next season is going to be summer. So I'm going to repeat the ones that you can also catch in spring and summer just so you guys know exactly where you can catch each one of these and at what season. So the pufferfish is our first one you can catch in the summer. Um, it's from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. You can catch it in the ocean and the weather it has to be sunny so it cannot be raining. Also the pufferfish you can catch it at Ginger Island at any time but if you don't have that unlocked summer ocean when it's sunny. Our next one is going to be the tuna. So the tuna can be caught in summer in the ocean from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. any weather. And it can also be called in Ginger Island, just like the puffer fish at any time, but you need it unlocked. So go to the ocean between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. So our next fish is going to be the rainbow trout. Now the rainbow trout can be caught in summer um, from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the river. So make sure you go into the river to catch that one. Also, it has to be sunny. So make sure you're catching the rainbow trout. Sunny days in the summer, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the river. 
A pike is our next fish. It can be caught in the summer, anytime, any weather, also in the river. Our next fish is going to be the sunfish, and the sunfish can be caught in the river once again, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. while it's sunny or windy. We're going to go into the red mullet. The red mullet can be caught from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the ocean, summer, anytime. So make sure you go catch that one. Our next one is going to be the octopus, which is one of the hardest fish to catch. It can be caught in the ocean during summer, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m., so get it in the morning, any weather. Our next one is going to be the red snapper, which is caught in the ocean, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., only when it's raining in the summer, so get that one. Next one is going to be the super cucumber, which can be caught in the summer between 6 p.m. and 2 a.m., ocean only. Uh, any weather it can also be caught in ginger island at any time but this is the summer one in the ocean 6 p.m to 2 a.m next fish is going to be the flounder which can be caught in the summer from 6 a.m to 8 p.m in the ocean and any weather this is another ginger island one next one's going to be the sturgeon which can be caught in the summer 6 a.m to 7 p.m at the mountain lake only any weather next one is going to be tilapia which can be caught 6 a.m to 2 p.m in the ocean during summer any weather and then the dorado can be caught in the summer in the river forest from 6 a.m to 7 p.m any weather do not have to worry about the weather on that one next one is going to be the shad which can be caught in the summer in the river from 9 a.m to 2 a.m only when it's raining our next one is going to be the halibut which can also be caught in the summer at the ocean from the same time 6 a.m to 11 a.m 7 p.m to 2 a.m any weather all right let's move into fall so our first fish is going to be anchovy just like spring ocean anytime any weather our next fish is going to be the sardine which is in the ocean from 6 a.m to 7 p.m any weather our next fish is going to be the smallmouth bass which can be caught anytime in the river any weather our next fish is going to be the salmon, which can be caught from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Any weather in the river, only during the fall. Our next fish is going to be the walleye, which can be caught in the river from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. Only when it's raining. Our next fish is going to be the catfish, which is an uncommon fish. It can be found in the river from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. Only when it's raining in the fall. Our next fish is going to be the eel, which can also be caught in the ocean during fall from 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. only when it's raining. Our next fish will be the red snapper, which is found in the ocean 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. only in the rain. We're then going to go on to the sea cucumber, which can be found in the ocean during fall from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. any weather. We're then going to move on and go to the super cucumber, which is... A rare one to catch can be found in the ocean from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. any weather. Our next one is going to be the Midnight Carp, which is a brand new fish, which can be found in the Mountain Lake, Center Sap Forest from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. any weather in fall. Our next one is going to go to the Tiger Trout, which is found in the river 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. anytime. Our next fish is going to be the tilapia, which can be found in the ocean from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the fall. The shad can also be found in the fall, uh, in the river from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m., only in the rain. The albacore is also a fall fish from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., any weather found in the ocean. All right, we're going to move on to the final season, the winter fish, and then we will get on to the special fish of this video. So our first winter fish is going to be the tuna, which can be found from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the ocean, any weather. Next one's going to be the sardine, which is in the ocean, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. any weather as well. Our next one is going to go to the walleye, which can be found from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the rain at the river. Our next one is going to be an exclusive winter fish, the perch, which can be found anytime in the river and any weather. Our next one is going to go to the pike, which can be found at any time in the winter, in the river, in any weather. Our next one will go to the herring, which can be found any time in the ocean, at any weather. Our next one is going to go to the red snapper, which is 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the ocean when it's raining. The next one will be the midnight carp, which was from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. during winter, any weather found in the mountain lake. Our next one is going to go to the sturgeon, 
which can be found from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Mountain Lake in any weather. So make sure you get in that one. The Tiger Trout can be found in the river, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. at winter, any weather. Next one is going to be the Albacore, which can be found in the winter from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the ocean, any weather. An exclusive winter one is going to be the Lingcod, found in the river, anytime, any weather. We're going to move over to the Halibut, which can be found in the ocean from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., any weather. I know that was a lot of information, but if you guys need to go back and pause it just to pick, pick the fish that you need and find it, uh, I will have um, it labeled for winter, spring, and summer as you saw previously. And there's two other fish that you can find anytime at any place, which is the carp and the chub. So make sure you go back, scroll back, pause the video where you need, get the fish you need, and hopefully that helps you find all of the fish in the main island of Stardew Valley. We're going to move into some of the special fish, which we have not yet talked about. We're going to move over to the uh, Ginger Island fish now. So the first one's going to be the puffish, which you can find at Ginger Island Oceans. The next one's going to be the tuna, which can be found in Ginger Island Oceans. The next one's going to be the super cucumber, which you can also find in Ginger Island Oceans. The flounder can also be found in Ginger Island Oceans. The midnight carp can be found in Ginger Island Ponds and Rivers. The tilapia can be found in Oceans and Ginger Island Rivers. And the lionfish and blue discus can be found in Ginger Island Oceans and Rivers. And then the stingray can be found in the Pirate's Cove in Ginger Island only. So that's going to be your Ginger Island fish. We're going to go into the special fish that you can't necessarily find at ginger island or in any of the main fishing areas in um, the main island so the stone fish can actually be found in the mines on the 20th floor there's a little pond there that you can go there and find the stone fish the ghost fish can be found in the mines on floor 20 that little lake and on floor 60 you can also find it there as well the ice pip can be found in the mines on floor 60 so in that little pot and then the lava eel can be found in mines floor 100 with the lava spot or in the volcano where there's also a ton of lava. The sandfish is going to be our next one that's not in the mines but it is in the desert. So you can find the sandfish in the desert little pond by Skull Cavern so make sure you go get that. The scorpion fish is also in the desert, however it requires fishing level 4. So those are the two fish that you can catch in the desert. And then we have um, two more fish, the void salmon which can be found in the witch's swamp, and the slime jack that can be found in the mutant bug lair, which is uh, just when you go to the sewers and you go up, that's where you can find the slime jack, right in there. And then you have the night market fish. The night market is just a thing that comes um, during winter, it's just an event that happens at night. You can go in there. Um, go to the left, I believe, and go down deep dark into the ocean, and you can catch the midnight squid, spookfish, and blobfish at the night market in that boat. And then lastly, the um, crab parts, you can catch uh, a lot of things. Um, they have different ones. I'll just list them off quickly for you. This isn't really fishing, but I'm going to include in here. So lobsters in the ocean, clams in the ocean, crabs in the ocean, cockles in the ocean, mussel in the ocean, shrimp. And oysters in the ocean so you put your crab parts in the ocean you can catch all those things and then for freshwater or rivers or the mountain lake be snails periwinkles prayfish and yeah those are the three ones you catch in um, rivers and uh, the mountain lake so I hope that helped you guys um, if it did please leave a like comment I really appreciate it let me know in the comments if you need anything else if you want any other um, guides I'll be willing to make them but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Project Make Out. Peace.